Well, good evening, everyone. This is Bill Breeden. Thank you for joining me tonight for Constellation Tour number 81. Tonight, we're going to talk about the Constellation Reticulum or the, retic the reticle, uh, sometimes also called the net, in the southern celestial hemisphere of the sky. This is a far southern constellation. So we are observing from Buenos Aires. So we have our software here set up for January the 22nd of 2022 at about 9.15 p.m. with a 60 degree true field of view from a moderately light polluted sky. Reticulum isn't um, a very well-known constellation, and it's not very bright. So I'm going to do my best here to try to find it with you. The only fame I think it ever it ever has is um, I think it was briefly mentioned in the 1979 science fiction movie Alien. I do believe that may have been the uh, the star that the uh, or the planet that they were headed to uh, may have been in orbit around a star in the constellation Reticulum, if I remember correctly. But anyway, um, let's see if we can find Reticulum in the night sky. Uh, we're in Buenos Aires um, in January, so it would be a southern hemisphere summertime. And this constellation is... Um, pretty close to the South Celestial Pole, so it's visible most of the year. However, it is highest in the sky between December and March. So we're looking south. And let's see if we can find Reticulum. I would start by locating the bright star Canopus, which if you remember, is part of Carina the Keel, and it's going to be pretty much in the south. So you're going to look for a bright star in that direction. So here's Canopus. And we're also going to look for another bright star to Canopus's right, and that would be Akardar or Alpha Eridani. Now, Reticulum occupies a small area of the sky between these two stars. And if you remember, uh, Pictor is here. See stars right here, just to the right of Canopus. And Volans is in this area, too. I believe it's here. It's this one. I think it's right here. So Reticulum is also in this area of sky between these two stars. So the best way to find it would be to look for this little tight cluster of stars right here. And this is your guidepost to Reticulum. And here's Alpha Reticuli right here. It's a third magnitude star. And here's Gamma Reticuli. And here's Delta Reticuli and iota reticuli, and there's beta reticuli. So this, this area here with this little grouping of stars is probably the easiest way to find reticulum. You can also look for the large Magellanic Cloud, and that can be another signpost to the area of sky between Canopus and Akronar. So let's show our constellation lines. And you'll see here's the star Canopus, which is part of Carina. It's Alpha Carina. Here's Pictor the easel and Dorado the goldfish. So you have Reticulum right here in between those. And here's Akronar right here, or Alpha Eridani. So let's take a look at the mythical figures as well. And the southern sky is filled with objects um, more than animals, although there are some animals. So here's 
here's Carina, the keel of the great ship Argo Navis. And here's Canopus, the second brightest star in the sky, Alpha Carina. Here's Pictor, the easel, Dorado, the goldfish. And way over here, you have Akernar, which is Alpha Eridani, which you can see it's at the end of the river. Here's the river here. And here you have Reticulum, or the reticule. Okay. Well, as you might imagine, there aren't a whole lot of objects of note in this small constellation, but let's let's look at it from a dark location. And here that little grouping of stars actually shows up a little better. So if you look for the large Magellanic Cloud and even the small Magellanic Cloud here, um, you'll see the bright star Canopus, the bright star Akronar, and between the two, this little grouping of stars right here. And showing the boundaries here, this makes up the constellation Reticulum. I do have a double star on my list, and that's Zeta Reticuli. And it is listed in Stellarium as a double star. It's magnitude five and a half, located 39 light years from Earth. That's a really nice double. Here it is through the finder scope. And you can see this is Zeta 1 Reticuli, and here's Zeta 2 Reticuli, about the same magnitude. And double stars that are about the same magnitude are always very striking. And here's a view of them together in a 24 millimeter panoptic eyepiece. Now this eyepiece gives me a true field of view on the sky of just under one degree. It's about 50 minutes, 50 arc minutes of sky. The magnification of about 85 power. Okay, let's return to a naked eye view. And let's just, let's just go over finding it again. We're looking south and we can see the area of the sky we're concentrating on here with the two Magellanic clouds. Here's the large one, here's the small one. And those are satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way. So the equivalent of those would be the satellite galaxies of the Andromeda galaxy, M31, with its companion galaxies M32 and M110. So our own galaxy, the Milky Way, has the large Magellanic Cloud and the small Magellanic Cloud. So looking in this area of the sky here, you'll find Canopus and Akronar. And between those two, look for this little cluster of stars here to guide you to Reticulum. Okay, there are no notable deep sky objects in Reticulum. No Messier objects either. So let's use Stellarium as a star chart. So let's turn on our boundaries. Zoom in a bit. And go over here to sky and viewing options. Let's see, move it off to the side a little bit. Click on deep sky objects, turn on labels. And that's actually a little too busy. So let's turn this down just a tad, shall we? And you'll see Stellarium gives you two sliders. The, the bottom one are the, are the icons. So you'll see these little symbols show up with no labels. And then the top slider are the labels. And it doesn't look like there's many labels showing up here. So I like to slide them together. I think it just makes it more useful to have the icon and a label together.
and start somewhere around the middle. You don't want to overwhelm yourself with too much. So here we have a deep sky object populated, NGC 1559. And I'm just exploring. I didn't have this prepared. So this is kind of like what I would do if I was just out under the sky, just, just cruising through a constellation. Tonight would be reticulum. This is a 10th magnitude galaxy located 57 million light years from Earth. And Stellarium doesn't have a picture of it in here or image, but it does have the icon for it so you know where it is. And let's try this one. How about IC2056? Again, no image. But again, we can throw an eyepiece in here and simulate the field of view. Okay, let's return Stellarium to Planetarium software. So let's turn off all labels and markers. And let's return to a 60 degree field of view and turn off our constellation names. And we are back to a planetarium view. All right. Well, as I have nothing else on my list, this concludes my short tour of Reticulum, the reticle. Good night and good seeing.